Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be getting it together with this look right here. This look, honey. Who gonna check me, boo? And it's inexpensive. I'm not on here telling y'all to buy $80 palettes. You know what I mean? Cause that stuff is overrated. It's over freaking rated. You can get bomb looks with things that don't cost you a million bucks. Like, not everyone wants to spend money on a freaking $80 makeup palette. If you can, that's good for you, boo. But not everybody wants to do that, especially when you're just practicing, you're not like a real makeup pro, and you just want to be beat for that night. So what I said was, these are my Geneva's Place palettes. You know they'll be having good sales. So this is when they had, um, when was this sale? It was like around Valentine's Day or something, and they had 30% off. So I was able to get both of these palettes 30% off, so my total was like 27 And like really it was 20 bucks, and then it was seven more dollars for the shipping and handling. So it was like, boop, <laughs> boop, boop, boop. So I was happy with that. I was like, okay. I mean, and I'm just guessing. I think it was, no, no, no. It was like 24 for shipping and handling. Anyway, it was under $30. And two palettes for under $30, especially when it's like, uh, honey, like, hello. If you're interested in seeing how I created this dramatic, this dramatic eyeshadow look, then just keep watching. Don't click off, just keep watching. But before you keep watching, hit that notification bell down below and please like and subscribe okay now let's get into the video okay so i already have my face primed and already did my eyebrows off camera as well as prime my eyelids and then set it with my ben nine powder in the color sienna it's like brown translucent it's a sienna translucent powder so, and you already know the drill. I'm applying my transition shade all over my crease, blasting it up towards my eyebrow bone. Okay, so now, because I have my transition color, I'm going to do my crease. I'm actually going to use LAX from ColourPop because I want it to be super intense. If you don't have it, this is how it looks. Excuse my dry hands it's like a really pretty maroon and because this is a liquid lipstick that is mattifying and that means it will dry up pretty quickly i'm going to use the applicator to place it directly onto my crease then i am going to kind of move fast to blend it out with a dense blending brush to distribute it evenly all over the crease portion of my eye and then i'm going to go back and blend it out so now i'm going to take that blending brush that I used earlier with the same color from my transition and I'm going to start blending out the edges. Ooh, child. Okay, so now that I have that done, see how extreme it looks, but it's okay though. I'm gonna take my LA Pro Girl in medium beige and I'm gonna use this to cut my crease and for the cut crease i always and forever will use a round flat brush i always like it to be a little stiff so i can get like a really nice precise crease real real sharp and then i always look up so i can gauge where my cut crease needs to stop And using another round flat brush, I'm going to start to pack on this lighter shade of color in my inner corner, taking it all the way out to the center of my eyelid.
So I'm gonna take the transition color that I have and put this in the middle. Sleeping motions. And as you can see, if you watch my other video, it's the same technique. And then I always go back and forth between the colors just to make sure that the transition is smooth. And taking a deeper tone, I'm going to put that right on the outer corner of my eye using circular motions, moving it up into my crease. I'm going to go ahead, hop off camera. Catch this eye up, and then we get back. I'm gonna show you how to apply the glitter. The glitter, glitter. I'm gonna show you how to apply the glitter. Yes, like the glitter is life. Why do I get so excited over glitter? Okay, so now for the glitter part, I'm gonna take a small, precise brush and some of my NYX glitter primer. Not even. Like literally this much because a little bit goes a long way so go to the other eye and match this up you know what honestly really helps when you're applying your glue so it won't look clunky which i didn't do on my first eye is blending out your the actual glue itself because then when you apply the glitter it goes on it doesn't go on like in clumps like in one area it's not covered more than other areas it goes on more evenly because you smoothed out the glue evenly <laughs> i literally cannot see half of what i'm doing right now because this contact keeps every time i look to the side, my contact is moving. I don't even know if you can see that on camera, but my contact is moving and I'm blind as a bat. And I have astigmatism. So like I really, honestly, truly cannot see without eyewear or contacts. Okay, from here it looks, it looks like it's supposed to. <laughs> But I guess we'll see when I'm done, when I'm editing the video, because, honey. Lord, if my eyesight gets any worse, y'all, like, I'm, you know, no, 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 that's okay, because um, they got, they got contact, by, they got contacts with bi uh, focal prescriptions in it. So I really don't be tripping. I'll be doing makeup to the wheels fall off. There's this girl, she's um on one of the makeup um groups that I follow on my um Facebook. She is blind and she does her makeup. Like she's blind and she does her makeup. I'm like, yo, I'm real lightweight. Like, I, you know, you depend on your eyes for everything. And, you know, sometimes, like, people like me with astigmatism, you take your eyes for granted. You're just like, ugh, having astigmatism is so bad. But, yo, she completely blind. So, I really have to, like, shut up and count my blessings because, like, my mom always tells me, it can always be worse, honey. Count your blessings. 
be thankful for what you have and quit looking at what you don't. So now that I have a considerable amount of glitter on my face, I'm really not gonna worry about it because that's not the point of my foundation. Hence why you should always do heavy looks with a lot of fallout, like glitter. Look at my contact, what am I so? Hence why you need to always like do these type of looks. Um, do these type of looks with like a lot of because glitter is so messy. Do your do your foundation last. Save yourself some aggravation. Like I couldn't wipe it off. Let me get my little spoolie. Let me get some of this off. I'm not gonna get every single speck because it's so fine. That NYX glitter is like super tiny and fine. And if you follow me on um, Instagram, I did it look like this, but it was with green. Or on Twitter, um, I posted on my Twitter and um, it's actually retweeted on um, BH Cosmetics Twitter. And so if you can't find it on my page, you will definitely see it on theirs. Okay, my face is, oh wait a minute, should I do my lashes first? Yeah, let me do my lashes first. And I'm not gonna do any liner because liner is purely optional for this look and I like it without liner, I really do. I like most of my eye looks without eyeliner, to be super duper honest. I hate it when, if I have a client and we're not communicating that well, or they don't really know what they like. They're just like, girl, do what you want to do. So if I do what I want to do, more than likely I'm not going to do a liner on your look because I just feel like it makes the eye look so much more open. You can focus on the actual eyeshadow, especially with like an eyeshadow like this where it's like, honey, check out the skill. Like, I need you to like pay attention to my skill with my eyeliner, okay? I need you to see that. And I finish it, it looks bomb. And then they're like... Ooh, where's the eyeliner? I'm just like, I'm gonna apply my mascara, my um, my go-to, my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Still the best liner in the freaking land. Next to the um, what? I can never say the name right, and I never pay attention when other people are saying it, but it's like Bo, Bo, Boox, Biox. B U O X. I don't know something like that. If you're like a makeup junkie, you know it's exactly what I'm talking about. Their mascara, the one that comes from the black bottle, it's bomb. I don't understand why I didn't re up on it. You know why? Because every time I go to the makeup store, I never buy what I need. I buy what I see. And then I go home I'm like, dang, I'm supposed to get this. Dang, I ran out. I'm supposed to get that. Because as soon as I go out there, I'm like, ooh. I see something else. And you know what? I forgot. I need to put some color on my um on my brow bone, but I'm I'm gonna get to that. I don't wanna waste this glue. I always get asked how I put my lashes on so easily. And the first thing I can honestly tell you is practice. Don't talk while you're putting them on like I'm doing right now, because like I'm getting like glue and stuff everywhere and I'm kind of doing it kind of fast okay there she is so first and foremost practice girl because all you're gonna do is piss yourself off if it's like an important night and you're sitting there and it's taking you like 30 minutes to put on one lash because you you never wear them but you love them so practice it and then um, another important thing is when, well not important thing, another tip is take your mirror and like lay it down. I always tell my friends this, like lay it down on your lap and then look down, put your mascara on and look down at the mirror, like I'm over here, look down at it and then put your lash on top like that, like you're putting a book on a shelf, just like place it on top. And then when you're doing that, like, start tapping it. Me, because, you know, I've been wearing lashes and I need that thing booger to stay, I actually press it until I feel like the glue touched my skin. Because I'm not afraid to get up in there. And then the lashes that I use are thick, girl. It's some thickums. Okay, so I'm going to do 
my foundation off camera. Okay, so I use my, I'm right now I'm cooking, I'm actually, I, I'm actually about to wipe this off. But this is my translucent powder by L'Oreal. And got hair everywhere. This is one of the reasons why I like it. Look, look at my edges. I don't care what anybody says. Um, your edges and makeup, they just, they just don't go together. I set my foundation. And now I'm gonna take this Sienna um, translucent. Yeah, the Sienna Ben Nye translucent powder. And I'm actually gonna put this all over my face because my whole face is not set. It was just my highlighted parts. So I'm gonna set this before I start to contour and highlight. Ouch! Dude, this is why, look, that's why when I go out, I usually don't wear jewelry. My edges don't be laid. My face be good. But the rest of my stuff, girl, I don't know. I'm not a hairdresser. You know, I usually don't wear a lot of accessories. I just know how to put on wigs. Well, I don't even know how to really do that because my edges, my edges really don't be laid. Look, no, I'm like, my edges be laid. But to a certain extent, like I'm not a beast with it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not going to look like it's coming out of my scalp because I'm just not that chick. I know how to make a face though. Brown lip liner. This is one I found at the um this this Jordana lip liner that you can get at Walgreens, I think. Honey. And this is the color um brown suede. Like I ain't mad at her. How can I be mad at this lip liner? Like, and you know what's really funny? Nowadays, it's like, there's three type of makeup wearers I notice nowadays. <laughs> That's going crazy. Okay, so it's the, it's the pro. The girl who's worried about the technique. She's not worried about names or brands, prices or whatnot. She is all about her technique. And then the second one is the girl who really doesn't wear makeup. So on her special occasion, she just buys whatever. She don't know what she doing, so she buys whatever. So she's in the mall and like she goes to makeup, so like, okay, it's my birthday, I need foundation. She just will go to any store and then buy whatever they tell her. Or, you know, like if everybody's saying, you know, this this highlight's amazing, she'll go and buy the highlight. Not really planning to use it hardcore. She's just buying it because it's something that she wants to do, but it's not something that she like is really like super into. She's just doing it because it's just like, mm, but every day she's not wearing makeup. Then the next one is the makeup snob. It's the girl who don't know much about makeup. She when she put it on, it don't be that cute or be all right. But she's all about like, oh, I just wear fancy. Or, oh, mm, I just got my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, she's the makeup bougie snob. But, like, when you look at her makeup, you're like, girl, your makeup is not even popping enough for you to be that bougie about it. Because soon as you tell her you wear some Laura Mercier, not Laura Mercier, that you're wearing some NYX foundation or, or um, you got your hair bond and glue for your eyelashes, she's like, oh, my God. You put that on your face? Yes, I put it on my face because it works, boo. It works. Like, you, get out of here. Get out. They're about the status of makeup, but they really don't really be about that life. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you see, like, they got, like, hundreds and thousands of dollars of makeup. But then you see their face and they're like, but sis, your contour is real one-dimensional. Like, it should be like, mmm. $80 spent well. You know, you're like, what's the point? You're not, you're, why are you, 
you're doing too much. And then you're talking down on people who don't have the same quality of makeup as you. So tone that down. I went on a real rant, didn't I? Okay, so finish my lip. I'm using this. LA, is it LA girl? It's gotta be my LA girl because I like, like I see the color, the color is wink, but the actual label label song, but I know this has gotta be LA girl. So it's my LA girl high lip gloss in the color wink. And girl, look how luscious it makes my lips look. Like honey. Like these are the top of looks if you talking to you talking to me, you gonna be looking at my lips. <laughs> it's my little girl Raina. Like, hi baby. Okay, so this is what we're gonna tell. We're gonna tell them thank you for watching. Say to the camera, say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Say like and subscribe. Like or subscribe. <laughs> Okay, and then we're both going to say, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah.